So here is Glendale City Hall. Glendale, Arizona, that's 59th Avenue right there. And this is Glen. And right here next to Glendale City Hall, 59th Avenue in Glen, is my uh, listing, my newest listing. This is called Crossover Church. It actually used to be the Glendale Chamber of Commerce. It's a really nice small building, about 3,000 square feet, with a lot of really nice spaces in it. As you can tell, there are 17 parking spaces, but there's also room to parallel park, about another seven or eight vehicles right here. And then there's on-street parking on Glen. We got some really nice old trees here. Very mature. Here is the side entrance, which I'll show you from the inside in a little bit. So, we're going to walk in the back door, which is where you're going to be showing the property from. This is an exit from the downstairs, which I'll show you here in a second. There's my beautiful Hyundai. <laughs> anyway. So right here we got two AC units. And over here we have the what they're using as the main sanctuary right now. So there's a little stage set up which can easily be removed. Um, chairs which obviously can be removed. Nice drop down ceiling for most of it. And over here we have a really nice high ceiling. They have uh, one of these doors. They're going to be replacing the glass here in the next couple days. It did break a few days ago on accident, so they're fixing it. Uh, here's a temporary sound booth area. These partitions can easily be removed. They're not actually attached to anything. They're just furniture. So this is the main giant room. Okay, so from here, we're going to go and check out the little side office. So this is a small little office, not incredibly small, but if this was like a business, this could definitely be the owner's office, and that could be maybe a lobby. This would almost be perfect for a small bank or credit union, um, it could be a title company some sort of office. And then next to the main room, we have the little side room, which I'm calling the Southeast room. And in here, it's another pretty sizable room. Got uh, lighting up there. And this one does have that private side entrance. That's, uh, I showed you a little bit ago. And, you know, quite a lot of nice stuff. So back over here, there is a kitchen, which we will show you in a little bit. This is the pass-through, so this would be like a serving area, uh, maybe for a breakfast area. You could cook food in there, pass it through, serve it right here. So let me go and show you the other room. So this is a beautiful little church. Um, they're trying to sell the building because they... Uh, more than fill this up every Sunday, so they need to um, have more space. So, down this way we have two bathrooms. Men, women, you know, just a standard bathroom. Eight and a half feet by seven and a half feet, tile floor. And then here's another little kitchen prep room. Um, you know, you have some tables here, maybe a little coffee station. There's quite a bit of storage behind this curtain. And here's the other side of that door we showed you earlier. And back here, it actually goes kind of far back. Here's that kitchen. Now, this has $10 parking, and that's because we're right next to Glendale City Hall. And the city of Glendale does events all the time that we could be, that basically they've been putting out this sign and selling the 17 parking spaces, uh, $10 each. Sometimes during the events, each space will sell two or even three times. So in a one night, uh, there have been many occasions they've been able to make an extra $500 in one night. 
just by selling parking during some of the major events. There's about 30 events a year. So here's some more storage for the kitchen. And this is a giant pantry right here. So there's about 30 events a year that you could probably charge for parking. And most of them you could charge $10 for. Um, the city across the way, they, they, I think they only charge $5, but their parking lot fills up pretty quick. Um, but the hotels that are even farther away than, than this place, um, they charge 15 and some of them even charge $20. So there's definitely room for quite a lot. So, there's a really, really nice big building. Now, let me show you the surprise. The surprise is, right here, there's actually a whole entire downstairs. So let me show you what the downstairs looks like. So oh, you can hear my knees cracking. <laughs> so in the downstairs, it's a pretty spacious room. And you have about a hundred square foot of storage right here in those doors. Quite a lot of nice stuff. And then there's another stairwell on this side um, as an emergency exit. So this is underneath that big room there and then that area is underneath the kitchen over there and the bathrooms. So you know, the ceilings in here are actually pretty tall. They're about, I would say, almost nine foot ceilings. You know, I'm six and a half foot tall and I can't even touch the ceiling when I put my arm all the way up. So I'm about six inches away. So I'm guessing about nine foot ceilings in a basement, which is really nice. Okay. So let me go up the wall here. I'm mean, up the stairs again. So the basement can be used for meetings or storage or additional office, whatever you guys need to do. Okay, well now that's Crossover Church. Ready for sale right now? Thanks for watching.